So just to give our audience a sense of who you are, we were wondering if you might introduce yourself um, and briefly uh, tell us how you came to work in your position or maybe how you gained some of the insights that you'll be sharing uh, during the upcoming webinar. I was just elected last month to the position of chief and prior to that I was uh, elected counselor for six years and prior to that I worked in our lines department at the Wisconsin Nation and I work a lot with the elders and the community members um, in, in a lot of the projects that we've um, worked on in protecting our lines and um, new initiatives that we have um, rebuilding our nation. And I think that's how I came to the position where I am now because I've worked closely with people in the community and they they know me, they know how I work, and they trust me to, to take the lead. Um, so the webinar um, is going to be discussing environmental racism. Uh, what does that topic mean to you? It's a very personal topic for me because we live in the shadow of um, the first hydro dam that was made in the north and to date still the largest flood created by Manitoba Hydro. I live less than a kilometer from the generating station and at nighttime instead of hearing the roar of the Grand Rapids I hear I hear the hum of electricity and you know there's a huge wall of water that's held 100 feet over our head at all times so everywhere you go in the community there's you know i think in in everyone's subconscious this, this awareness that you know there's pot a potentially a huge danger always moving over us whether whether we like it or not you know manitoba hydro is part of our community and um, we have a relationship that sometimes is good and sometimes is not so good. Uh, a lot of the times can be not so good. And I think, you know, um, working on that relationship and making it um, something that is better for us um, to help us deal with the effects of hydro development in our territory is where we need to go um, together. I mean, we we can say that, but we can't do anything unless Manitoba Hydro is on board. Manitoba Hydro has to be a good neighbor, and that's what um, I would like to see. Thank you very much, Chief Cook. All right, thank you.